up, Yon Squad, squad and welcome, welcome back, back to the vlog. vlog. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Right now, Rachel and I are getting ready to run a few errands. We have to go over to the e-cig store and get some e-cig juice. And then I think we're gonna run to Wegmans and grab some food, which is a grocery store. They have this vegan tofu option there. It's like a Chinese tofu. It's so good. So we're gonna head over to the e-cig store and then we're gonna go grab some food. It was raining super bad last night and uh, I came into the front yard a little hot because there was nowhere to park in the road and almost took out the front porch and definitely messed up the lawn a little bit. Just made it over to premium e-cigs to get all our vape stuff. I've been vaping with the Vupu Drag. Vupu is always hooking me up with new vapes and they ended up sending me a Vupu Drag 2, which I gave to Rachel. Guys, don't mind my thumbnail. I ended up smashing my thumbnail, getting a hangnail, ripping parts of it off. I know it's not the prettiest looking thing, but this is the Vupu Drag 2 kit. This is pretty sick. I have one of these that I'm gonna be giving away to you guys. Obviously, if you guys are 21 or older. And the next stop on the list of errands we have to run today is Wegmans to grab some food. I don't care what anybody says, Wegmans is hands down the best grocery the store best. ever. Like their buffet selection is so crazy and mm -hmm. just the food is so good. No, their chicken wings. Yeah, Rachel's the obsessed best. with their chicken wings. I've had them a few times. I think they're pretty good, but I love the Chinese tofu they have here. They don't have the Asian style tofu that I like. They do have the vegetable lo mein that's vegan that I get. And then they also have the herb baked tofu here, which is really good. So I might just end up grabbing some of this instead. They also didn't have the chicken wings that Rachel wanted. So we're gonna put this cart back and then we're gonna head to the other Wegmans because they always have everything. Just made it over to the other Wegmans. I wanna tell you guys like a little pet peeve of mine. Halloween just passed. It literally just passed yesterday, two days ago, whatever. Check this out. These people already got their Christmas decorations up. Like, can we at least make it through Thanksgiving first? Wait till you walk in the store, babe. Why? Oh my God. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Let's make it through Thanksgiving. Look at this, they got snowflakes hanging and everything. And this was the Asian style tofu I was telling you guys about. This stuff is so good. Do they got the chicken wings you want here? Craft beer barbecue. Which one? So which one? The craft beer barbecue, yeah. those ones? And yeah, they look pretty good. good. So which ones are you getting? Craft beer. Mmm, sounds good. Another thing about Wegmans is they're always giving out free samples and they just gave out a free sample of this garlic parmesan seasoned whole chicken. Of course, Rachel's in love with it. We picked one of those up. I'm not gonna be able to eat it, but I'm sure everybody else will. You know we still drink Propel, so we gotta come over here and pick some up, grab some grapes, get some watermelon. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. It's watermelon. It's not a watermelon. And then kiwi strawberry. All right. I kind of want to try the lemon. You said it's not that good, I but like I want to try the lemon. I don't like it. I don't think you'll like it either. I'll take your word for it. We just got back to the house and we're in the process of potty training Luciano. This man was just standing right there. You can see the little dry spot and decided he was going to pee all over the floor. He just said it's just water. Guess what? If I peed all over the floor, I would say the same thing. It's just water. I dropped Rachel off at work not too long ago. I had to do a slight little outfit change. I don't know if this happens to any of you guys, but any time I get something new, or if I'm wearing something white, it's like inevitable. And I eat food with it on, it ends up getting ruined. So that white Adidas jacket I was wearing earlier, I ended up getting some of that like Chinese tofu on it. I got most of it off with like Arm & Hammer baking soda toothpaste, but I just can't take my chances anymore. I don't think I can ever buy or wear anything white without it getting ruined, let alone just buying anything at all without getting it ruined. Because as soon as I get something new, I wear it and I eat, it ends of getting ruined. But anyways, that's beside the point. I feel kind of bad yesterday. If you guys watched yesterday's vlog, I told Rachel I had gotten her a surprise. It was an early birthday present and I surprised her with a tarantula. Just open it. <laughs> Not exactly what she wanted. I felt kind of bad. So today I want to get Rachel an early birthday present. But you guys know me. I'm not just gonna surprise Rachel with an early birthday present. There's gonna be some sort of twist on it. I forgot that today is Friday and the mall is looking a little crazy right now. But I wanna hit up some jewelry stores and see if I can find Rachel like some sort of promise ring. If you guys follow me on social media, you guys would know that a few months ago Rachel and I ended up taking a break. And now we're back together, we're working on things, we're trying trying to better ourselves and better our relationship. And to show Rachel my commitment to wanting to better this relationship, I wanna get her a promise ring. Pretty much promising her that I'm gonna do everything that it takes for us to be together, for us to make this work, and for us to be happy. So with that being said, let's head into the mall and see if we can find a promise ring. Or I might just end up going and riding on the carousel for a couple hours. First place we're gonna stop is K Jewelers. Let's see if they have anything in here. I was just telling this nice lady over at K Jewelers how yesterday I told my girlfriend that I was getting her an early birthday surprise. Right. Well, she got a tarantula in a shoe box. Oh my God, I would've like ready to 
tarantula. Yeah. And, and it was a real tarantula too. We're over here looking at rings and I was asking her, what is the difference between a regular ring and a promise ring? And she doesn't even really know, so I guess we're gonna learn this together. Yes, we are. So we're gonna check out and see what kind of rings they got here. Correct. We've been looking at a ton of rose gold. I know Rachel loves rose gold and I feel like this one is gonna be good. It might be hard to see right now. It's a rose gold infinity sign with diamonds encrusted all along the infinity sign. I think she might like this one. And I don't know if you guys know this, but every K Jewelers right now starting in August sells these teddy bears right here. They're $13.99 and when you purchase one of these teddy bears, a portion of the proceeds goes to St. Jude's to help out with, you know, saving children's lives and stuff like that. So if you guys go to K Jewelers, guys get some jewelry, make sure you grab one of these teddy bears as well. And of course, I'm getting this and gonna give it to Rachel, but I have a feeling she's probably gonna end up giving this to our dogs. Now, I told you guys I was gonna put a little twist on this to make it a little bit funny. I'm having K Jewelers give me two ring boxes, one with the actual ring in it, and then a larger box, which I was gonna go try finding maybe like a 25 cent ring machine and put like one of those rings in there. But I think instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get a ring pop and I'm gonna eat the candy off the top of the ring and just put that empty plastic piece in the ring box. That's what I'm gonna give her first. So yesterday, Rachel got a tarantula in a shoe box. Today, she's gonna be getting a plastic ring in a ring box and then she's gonna be getting the actual rose gold promise ring that I got her. They have this other place in the mall called Syracuse Newsstand. I'm gonna come in here and see if maybe they have ring pops in here. I'm not too sure if they do. And just my luck, they got a whole container of ring pops right here. So what should we do? Blue raspberry, what is this, strawberry, watermelon this is the one right here right here we have the two separate ring boxes we have this bigger one right here and this is the one that the ring pops gonna be going in and then the smaller one right here is the one with the ring actually inside of it I just hope that Rachel's gonna like it you know I have not had one of these things since I was a little kid and uh, they taste just as sugary as they did back in like 2003 so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat all this I might just have to like break it off with a knife or ha, let me try biting it off see what happens Oh, I might have broke a tooth, but I got it. I'm not eating this candy though. This is gonna get spit out. Perfect, so we got all of the candy off. Now I just need to make sure that this plastic part of the ring is gonna fit inside the ring box. And voila, there we have it. Two hours later. Two hours later and Rachel is finally done work. And guess what, babe? What? So remember yesterday how I told you I had gotten you like an early surprise birthday present? Okay. And it was a tarantula inside a shoebox. Okay. I felt kind of bad that I did that. So I may or may not have actually gotten you an early birthday surprise today. I don't know if I can like believe you. Are you screwing with me right now? No, why would I be doing that? Because I would never do such a thing. I would never it? do such a thing. It's not in here. It's okay. at the house. All right. So when we get home, you're going to stay downstairs in the kitchen. Wait, and is I'm this gonna... a real present? Yeah, it's a real present. Okay. It's a real surprise this time. So can I be excited? I mean, you can be whatever you want to be. I, I hope you'd be excited. I was excited all day at work yesterday to come home because I just had a feeling you were going to get me an early I mean, birthday present. I mean, opening then... a shoebox and seeing a tarantula inside of it, I think that's pretty exciting. For you. It was hilarious. Well, right now we're going to head home and then... And I'm gonna give Rachel her surprise. All right, babe, are you ready for your surprise? I'm gonna go upstairs and get it right now. Kinda. All right, you gotta wait right here, though. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. All right, be right back. All right, here's your surprise. Every kiss begins with pins. Ooh, jewelry. I'm so nervous to open I'm this right now. I have no idea why. Like what the? <laughs> It's fr Whoa, don't be ungrateful. That was a one dollar ring pop and I ate the candy. Oh, yeah. The ring pop's not even on it. That's you ate I, it? Yeah, I ate the candy. Was it vegan? No, so I spit it out. I like use my teeth to break it off. You know what? I'm done with birthday presents. I'm good. Do you want your real surprise? Wait, are you being serious? Yes, do you want your real surprise? Yeah. I have so many. Oh, these are actually so cute. Yeah, and it was for St. Jude, so it benefits and helps children to save this is their lives. really cute. I actually love that. What else is in that bag, though? A box. Another box. There's another ring pop in there. No, there's not. I know. <gasps> oh my god, it's so pretty. Well, happy early birthday. I love it. Look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. So pretty. So pretty. It's okay. a rose gold infinity promise ring. It's blurry on the screen. It's like super hard to focus. That's there you so go. That's so pretty. I love rings. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. 
Oh my god, I seriously love it. Thanks, babe. Love you. Love you. Well, it is currently the next day, and I am extremely exhausted right now. Last night at 11 o'clock, I decided it would be a good idea to start re-watching Dexter on Netflix, and I was up until 6 o'clock this morning binge-watching. Seven hours of just binge-watching Dexter on Netflix. I do this every time I start re-watching an old show, or even starting a new show that I really enjoy watching, so I'm extremely tired right now. But I think with that being said, that is going to wrap it up for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you guys never miss a new video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.